Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk to Jared Campbell. So this evening's reading and reflection will come out of Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. We must be all good stewards, what we're going to talk about this evening. Let's open up with our prayer in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shine to hearts, O loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of your mind that we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn so after having conquered simple desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life, thanking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For your Christ, your God, your life, to you with your glory, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, of now and forever, endless ages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good evening. Welcome back. So grace is faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So I'm going to share my screen because I broke down our reading. So I'm going to share it. All right, there we go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So as evening reading and reflection, we must be good stewards. Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. So good evening, grace is faithfulness. The parable, the talents, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And one of them, he gave five talents to another two and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two, and likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents saying, Lord, you, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. Your faith will over a few things. I will make you a ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, he also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you have delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things, and I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I had not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. At my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given. And he will have abundance. For him who does not have even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, there will be weeping and gashing of teeth in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we see this parable is teaching, right? So this parable is teaching us how to use gifts given to us by God. One talent was a great sum of money. And here it's representing the goodness the Lord has bestowed on each of us. The amount each of us receives is based on our own what personal abilities. You all see Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 7. It's right here. Romans chapter 12, verses 4 through 7 says, For as we have many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. In prophecy, let us prophesy in portion to our faith. Our ministry, let us use it in our own ministering. He who teaches in teaching. 
The Lord does not show partiality in the ultimate reward for all invited to share what the same joy. That's in verse 21 and 23. They're highlighted above. The wicked and lazy servant, verse 26, also highlighted that above, could not evade responsibility for ignoring their talent. For idleness is as much as rejection to God as outright wickedness in itself. Buying the bearing, right? So burying the talent in the ground. I have a misspelling there, but burying the talent in the ground is verse 18. It's highlighted. Highlight that up here. So burying the talent in the ground is an illustration of one's God-given gifts for, early for earthly pursuits. The bankers, verse 27, represents other faithful people to whom the man could have turned to help him use his talents wisely. Since help was immediately available to him, the, which was the church, the man then what has no excuse. And this is where we'll end this evening's reading and reflection. Thank you all again so much. All right, for following, we're going to close out. So thank you all again. All right, it means a lot. I feel good that I can finally, it feels good that I can finally share my screen and show you all the readings and kind of break it down. So now we're going to close out in prayer now. Thank you all so much. It means a lot. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you spoke to us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear as simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith, having to blame his life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. And you are light. To you we give glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all now and forever. The sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As you forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, in this ages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. Depart peace, in the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father. Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the sages. Amen. Chair Wesley Campbell, good evening, good night, good afternoon, or even good morning, whenever and however these messages and all these messages and readings, even the news, how, 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 however it finds you all, I love you all so much. JPCE Spiritual Talk, never ever hold back, right? Seek your Father in heaven, right? Seek your Father in heaven, give him your heart, he does the rest. Lay those treasures up there. I love you all so much. I'm out.